downtown and I'm okay. Eyes on me, I don't know what to do, so I smile and I wave. Everyone's looking like they know what they do. Good evening, Sam Ishuno. This is your favorite nighttime DJ, Pixelated Twix, interrupting your sugar rush by cassette tapes at the top of the hour. <laughs> you heard the dial tone. You know what time it is. We're kicking off another dating after dark. If you've been listening in, then you're well informed that a last bachelor, Prince Gage Carlisle, a.k.a. Ryan Jericho, has been smacked on the head with a club and quickly dragged back to the woman cave. In other words, he's sadly off the market. Oh, easy gigantes. And next up on the roster, we have a little something something for you ladies who fancy a rocker who loves his sugar with a side of iced tea. Country rocker Nash Huntsville graces our studio this evening smelling like designer leather and $500 cologne. He's traveled all the way here from Winchester just so he can come hang out with little old me. And I do declare, y'all, he looks like a plate of smothered pork chop and collard greens. All I need is a slab of homemade buttered cornbread so I can sop up the gravy. Looking so good makes you want to slap your mama. All jokes aside, here's the nitty gritty. Long gone are Nash's bad boy days, but the scar over his left eye lingers, which gives him a dangerous look. Don't let it fool ya, ladies. He's got a soft heart for children and wants a few little Nashes and Nashettes running around his family's 950 acres of farmland. Wow. The nine-time Grammy-winning country music star has plans to retire from his music career and settle down to a quiet life of horses, cattle, and starry nights at Raw High Creek Ranch. He's looking for a lady that isn't afraid to get dirty, loves animals, and appreciates the country life. Of course, we'll be taking calls from you city girls gnawing at the bit to get the heck out of Dodge. But first, Peter Finn wants to tell you what kind of woman he wants. Hey guys, thank you for sitting through that long intro. We do things a little extra around here and I do hope you enjoy that. Um, let me know in the comments if this is uh, some, if this is content that you're enjoying. Anyways, if you are new to the channel, welcome to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. I am Pixelated Twix and this is another cast video. We are here with Wyatt. No, we're not. This isn't Wyatt. We are here with um uh, nash huntsville uh yes his name was wyatt bourbon originally and then a thing happened i turned around and mistakenly asked my boyfriend for a little advice on his summer outfit that one outfit turned to a full-blown remake of my sim so you will see um Wyatt become Nash and Nash becomes a whole completely different person. I had a different backstory for him uh, and then we had to change it up. Wyatt Bourbon went from working at his family as a whiskey plant to becoming a rancher. Yeah, completely different lifestyle. Yet he is still a very successful Sim. So I had to change him into a country rocker because that was the vibe I was getting from him. Um, so he is, I don't know, a little different than what I normally do. Um, my boyfriend said he was too pretty, way too pretty. And this is not the look of a real cowboy. So, okay, fine. I let him handle it. And you will see in the video, I did not cut anything out um, that was pertinent. I wish I could have captured our conversation because it was hilarious. We went back and forth and he's like, no, no, a cowboy would not be caught dead wearing that. And take that hat off because it looks stupid the way it's sitting on his head. It was hilarious. Um, you had to be there. You did. But I, I guess I, I get what he was saying because my dad being from the South has a specific way that he wears his hats. They would not be that far back on his forehead. And that's what he was talking about. He's like, and he better have some boots, some real boots. Um, the, the cowboy boots that is in game or are in game, he... Uh, he gave him a thumbs up. So this is from a real country boy, um, a mountain man. Yes, those those cowboy boots are 
authentic looking. So we did. The Sims did get something right. But I guess the next time you make some uh, Stetson in the game, uh, maybe consult an actual cowboy or a southern boy uh, because... The, it's sitting wrong and he was like can't you adjust the hat and I'm like dude this is sims <laughs> this isn't this isn't um the outer worlds or, or um this isn't your normal um cast uh character creation screen and he's like it's limited I'm like welcome to the sims 4 <laughs> um but yes I enjoy creating Nash so much he he feels like a bit of a Kid Rock uh, guy to me, but I don't know, cleaner looking. <laughs> Kid Rock just looks a mess to me. But this guy to me was like, yeah, I I like what he looks like. I'm I'm liking it a lot. So he he does look really good. Again, not my normal thing, but I'm not creating these Sims for myself. I'm creating it for the people that want to add them to their gameplay or add my sims to their gameplay so you will see a variety of different types of male sims on my channel so we're definitely going to taste the rainbow over here yes skittles and all because uh when it comes to dating as far as i'm concerned my dating pool has been very um open as far as like what type of guy that I date. I really don't have a type um, per se. As, and so I'm hoping that uh, we can introduce a lot of different types of flavors, if you will, of uh, male sims on this or in this series. If you have any ideas what you would like to see, what type of guy you would like to see, uh, drop a comment below and I'll take a look because this will help me out as well. Because of course, I don't I don't necessarily know what's all out there. Um, I've been in a relationship for a few years now, so I'm a little rusty uh, when it comes to the dating scene. But um, yeah, I still, I still, I'm not blind. I see, you know, I have my celebrity crushes. Uh, if you must know, Shamar Moore happens to be uh, my favorite uh, male celebrity. Um, and I also like Chris Evans, so it varies. All right, so Nash is, again, a Grammy-winning country singer, and he has lived a full life. Um, he has been on the road constantly, and it was one day that he woke up in a hotel room and decided that he no longer wanted to live this lifestyle. He was ready to go back home. His family, as you heard, owns a very large ranch, um, and he just wants to go back and help out the family farm and settle down with the woman of his dreams. Now, she has to be a specific type of woman. She can't be afraid to get down and dirty. Um, she can't be afraid of animals because there are plenty on the farm. Pigs, chickens, cows, horses, all kinds. And she has to be willing to uh, work hard alongside the rest of the family. Now, of course, if you live on a farm, you know that most uh, farmers have larger families because uh, you're raising farm hands. So he wants to keep up the tra that tradition by having a bunch of kids. And that number is going to be between Nash and his future wife. Um, it could vary between three and five, maybe more. Um, it just depends on you or who he chooses. All right, we are at Nash's, or at this point, Wyatt's uh, summer wear, hot weather wear. And this is where my boyfriend turns around and says, oh no, you got to change that. So we ended up with these cargo shorts and the t-shirt. He said that was perfect with some sneakers. Speaking of the sneakers, these are Patreon only. Um, I did link the name or put the name of the um the cc creator in, on in the google doc i will link the google doc with all the the cc links in uh the description so be sure to catch that any cast video that i do um i have all the well most of them i believe i have all the google links 
or the links in a Google Doc in the description box so you can find them easily. If, if there's something missing, feel free to let me know, but I'm pretty sure I got everything. I also use custom traits. So if you're not into that, you will have to change them according to what you like because the game will just pick some random traits. Now, if you're feeling froggy and you like the randomization of uh, his traits, by all means, play it as is. Um, but yes, you, again, you'll see me here changing everything. I, he told me everything had to go. The beard, the hair, the clothes. <laughs> it was like a... a, a Tete -a -tete, back and forth like what do you mean no a guy would not be caught dead wearing that da -da 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 -da. it's like fine 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 we'll change it and it's it's boyfriend approved um this <laughs> so this really isn't my sim at this point this is his sim he created this sim i just drove per se he chose the hair the beard um the clothing everything the name he said Wyatt Bourbon was stupid <laughs> well Wyatt was cool he he chose Wyatt but he's like Bourbon really Bourbon I was like well he was supposed to own uh, a whiskey company with his family is like Bourbon though <laughs> I was like okay 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 you're right you're right I'll change it and um he had something else I don't even remember and I didn't like it so I thought uh Huntsville was perfect because um Huntsville was always that that marker um, when my family and I would drive down to Alabama to see my grandparents because that's where my dad's from. Um, that was my marker to let me know that we were almost to my grandparents' house. So I, I yeah, Huntsville, I don't know. It kind of rolls off the tongue, but I do get confused because I want to call him Nashville because his first name is Nash. So it took me several takes uh, in my intro to get it right. <laughs> Uh, I kept calling him uh, Nashville. Then I was like, uh, Nash hunts. It was weird. It's crazy. But uh, again, then we were arguing about the gray beard and the beard was a thing, guys. The beard was ridiculous. Like he was like, no, that beard's not going to work. You give him a bushy beard. If he's a rancher, he's not out shaving his face. I'm like, but he, he, I, he has a little scruff. I like the scruff. Most girls like the scruff. That full beard is not going to get it, right? So uh, we went from the full-on mountain man beard to Santa Claus. And then we went back to the goatee. And then we decided with the uh, close, closer shave kind of manicured beard. Um, but you can see where we changed the hair. It's like the hair's got to go. Absolutely not. Um, I, again, I did have fun with this. Actually, I'm going to see if I can try to get him to, um, create a sim sitting with me live and uh, see how that goes. We'll probably argue back and forth, but it's all in fun. I enjoyed it. It was really was fun. Um, but you guys can get a first, uh, account on what guys really think about the, the Sims, the male Sims, he thinks they're way too pretty. Um, I think I saw that somewhere on Twitter where, uh, there was a guy who said that all male Sims are so pretty. Can't they look just like regular guys? And that's what he was saying. They like, he's like, what guy really looks like, like, like that. I'm like, I'm thinking Hallmark, you know, if you watch Hall Hallmark movies, all the guys in there are pretty. I mean, there are some that are not, but for the most part, they're all pretty. And you're like, wait, they're way too pretty to do this job. Like way too pretty. There's no way you're coming off the farm looking that clean and smelling that good. No, you're looking sweaty. You guys have done farm work. Uh, you're sweaty and smelly and mud caked and everything else. You're tired you can forget it. You're not looking that clean. He kind of, he, and then, uh, my boyfriend was like, he's too young looking. So he had me switch between elder and older adult. I decided that I want to make him a little bit younger because I knew that, um, some of the girls that will download him will probably want to spend more time with him dating him. If he's, uh, an adult, I, I told Jace, uh, I told my boyfriend, I almost <laughs> gave you guys his, his government name, but I told him, I'm like, he will die. <laughs> um, but 
that was my excuse. I did actually like the crow's feet on, on the side of his eyes. I love that. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good laugh line crow's feet. I don't know. It's good looking to me. It's hot. Um, but I did make him a little bit younger. Uh, for so for those of you who like a younger adult and want to start your life off fresh and new with him. But I do recommend aging him up. Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. Um, just, you know, for a different look. If I put him in my game, I will definitely make him an adult. I think it just adds character um, to his his overall look. Uh, he definitely looks like a rocker to me at this point. He's nicely dressed, obviously, because he has little money. He is um, a little older um per se. Also the scar on his face. Uh, we went with a scar because, um, my boyfriend said that if he was a rancher at any point, he probably got hurt. He fell off a horse. His face hit a barbed wire, something like that. It makes him a little, look a little bit more dangerous. Um, and I, I went with it. Something new. This is what happens when you let other people tell you how to create a sim. And you know what? It's completely different than what I've ever done. And I love it. I love it. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this this bachelor's cast video. Let me know in the comments what you think and what other male sims you'd like to see. Um, I definitely love to hear from you. Now, if you're not a member of the family and you'd love to come to the family reunion, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So, you know, every time I upload, I upload at least three times a week. Yes. And I also play the Sims and other games on top of that. So until next time, guys, I love you. Ciao. I like the bed to myself. Nobody's stealing covers. I like to drink to myself. So I'm gonna have another no. I don't need a hint to hold. Sometimes I just want somebody to talk to Someone that's on my mind I want something that's all cool And it don't waste my time Yeah, I just want somebody Just want somebody I just want somebody to talk to Somebody to talk to To talk to I like to drive by the volume i like to dance by myself so i can do my own moves no i don't need a hand to hold tight don't need a love that's all mine but sometimes